It's a bird, it's a plane. Nope, it's just another superfood. These superfoods change like the season and often come labeled with fantastical properties that Willy Wonka himself might have concocted, whether it's boosting your immune system or healing a whole plethora of diseases. But there is more than meets the hype. Hippocrates himself suggested a link between food and medicine, and we all know an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Hi, I'm John Gleason. I'm a third year PhD student in the School of Veterinary Medicine in University College Dublin here in Ireland. And I'm going to unveil the real superpowers behind food for reducing the risks of diseases like high blood pressure. Nine million people die every year due to complications of high blood pressure, such as stroke or heart attack. That's a huge number. Aging, diabetes, stress, even urbanization are factors that lead to high blood pressure. But diet has proved to be one of the biggest contributing factors. There is a system in the body which regulates blood pressure and tries to keep everything functioning at a normal level, but that isn't always possible. And the crucial ingredient in this process is angiotensin converting enzyme, or simply ACE. So if we target ACE, we can lower blood pressure. Current pharmaceutical treatments are available which target ACE, which is perfect. But we know prevention is better than a cure. So we look to food. Can the enemy hold a solution rather than needing a cure? And that's where my research comes in. We're looking at two bitter tasting components called peptides that in milk, chicken and fish, which block ACE in turn, lowering blood pressure. The problem is often the foods themselves don't contain enough of these components and not enough of these get from the food into the body to lower blood pressure. So we look to the pharmaceutical industry and that's where a pill comes in. Can we make a pill from food to help lower blood pressure? So we're taking a long sugar chain found in crab shell called chitosan and we wrap this around our blood pressure lowering peptides and we pop in another ingredient called an enhancer. And this enhancer allows us to get the peptides into the bloodstream better to do their job. This will mask the bitter taste of the peptides, protect it through the heart's acidic stomach and allow us to deliver it to the right destination. Once in the intestines, with a bit of scientific serendipity, the sugar chains unravel, releasing the peptides which get into the bloodstream and lower blood pressure. This prevents escalation of the disease. So maybe it's time superfood tellers let the chemistry of food speak for itself. And in the end, that's not a bitter pill to swallow.